Let me tell you about Vapornose. Vapornose is a technique that I developed and trademarked that addresses the hump and bump of your nose in a very safe, precise, and incremental manner. I've been doing it for several years and my patients love it. Why? It's safe. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't result in an overcorrection. The cartilage edges are not sharp. There's no age limitation and there's no restriction on ethnicity at all. So as long as you have a hump or a bump and it's cartilaginous in nature, I can remove it safely and predictably. So it's something to consider because in addition, the internal lining is preserved with this operation and that maintains support on the inside to maintain breathing. Now, if you have a crooked nose, inside, outside, or both, then this technique might have to be incorporated with other ancillary techniques to give you the best result. Now, of course, the only way to know for sure is for you to be seen in person because I can look on the inside of your nose. The nasal operation, essentially, is to change the underlying framework of your nose however which way that's done, and allowing the skin to drape. That's basically a nasal operation. It's sculpting the bone and cartilage in a way to make the nose blend in harmoniously with the rest of your facial features. This is an anatomical diagram of the nose with the skin removed. And from the side, this is the hump. That's the part that gets removed with the vapor technique. And from the front view, this is the part that everybody complains about. Doc, get rid of the hump or the bump. I want this gone. This technique addresses it in a beautiful way. And this is another view, just showing the cartilaginous portion. This is the septum. And the septum is really nothing more than a wall that divides the left side of your nose from the right. It's never perfectly straight on anybody. There's always going to be little curves of the bone and cartilage, but not all of them have to be addressed. But when it impairs your airway, then the deviated septum must be corrected because all the medicines in the world will not correct it unless it's done surgically to reduce that mechanical obstruction. So it's a procedure that, like I've said, I've incorporated into my practice for several years. It works beautifully. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and come in at your leisure.